In comedy and drama, Rock Hudson was a major movie and television star. When it was announced that Rock Hudson died of AIDS in 1985, some of the shame and mystery surrounding that disease disappeared. Now, a stunning verdict involving Rock Hudson's conduct may signal new challenges for the law and for society. David Dow has a report. Sure. Mark Christian, the former live-in lover of actor Rock Hudson, was back in court today with his attorneys to argue for more millions in damages. In effect, to make a dramatic example of the case. And I ask that you cause a headline. Rock Hudson jury does it again. What it did yesterday was to award Christian $14.5 million, even more than he'd asked for. The jury said that was just compensation for what it called Rock Hudson's outrageous conduct in concealing from Christian that he had AIDS until a few months before his death. It shows that uh, people have a duty to disclose if they have AIDS in their lives. That's what it shows. It's landmark in the sense that the size of the verdict is very large. But what we're really seeing here is an important message that we have got to make honest promises to our partners. Lawyers generally agree that it is indeed a landmark case, the first such verdict where the plaintiff did not actually develop AIDS. But some who've been involved in other AIDS cases worry about its implications. Giving that kind of money because it's AIDS could be sending a message out that we should continue being hysterical about the disease when in fact we should not. I think there's no question that the award is, is, is excessive in this case, given the fact that, that Mark Christian uh, was not even infected with the virus and that he willingly exposed himself by engaging in unsafe sex. The damage award could be reduced during the appeals process that's sure to follow. Meanwhile, many now expect a rash of similar cases, a part of Rock Hudson's legacy that he probably never envisioned. David Dow, CBS News, Los Angeles.